Hey everybody, welcome to Hello. Rip Pops React, your MVP1 and BP2. And we're right. back with the Isle of Man TT, which is happening yes. right now as we it are is indeed. recording this it video. Is. Thank you to uh, Becca, who lives on the Isle of Man, for reminding us that this massive event is on. And um, weather's beautiful, so it should be banging over there. Uh, if you are out and about, Becca, and you're anywhere near the track, get us some pics. Drop them on Patreon, we'd love to see those. Um, mm. Yes, uh, this time we're going to go for a lap with the uh, ever-fabulous Guy Martin. Um, ah, yes, Mr Martin. Mr. Guy he's a Martin, lovely, yes. He's a lovely bloke. If you don't know Guy Martin, check him out. Uh, he's a British former motorcycle racer and heavy me vehicle mechanic and also TV presenter. He's done some great TV shows. Um, lovely bloke, even though, like I say, he had a great... Uh, he's, he's, he's sort of retired from racing in 2017, still does presenting and TV shows, but still gets up every morning, cycles into work to his, his garage. Crazy, I think it's, isn't it? Uh, yeah owned by his dad i think uh and he does his day job lorry mechanic so um yeah sit back strap in because he's gonna talk you around the course on on as he rides it so okay i'm out right. and um here we are for a, a bit of a lap of the tt a bit of a lap so, here we go yeah. start the first it, super sport race 2010. it's a bit northern it is yes Oh, so he's got yeah, a cam on it. In 2010, it's in the Christmas, right? So, yeah, here we are. <laughs> um, down Braille, 600. I've only done three laps in practice on this bike, so I'm three. still sort of feeling my way around the bike. So, yeah, I've got a bit of an idea. I knew it, from practice that it was, um, idea. That she was oh. she was quick. And as you can see, she's not hanging about. So, I think just about there, we get about top gear. I don't know, top gear on these bikes. It's not so fast as 600. Mm. Not the, you know, maybe, maybe you're doing 150. 450 mile an hour in a place or two but here we are down into 50. i've said this before no, and i'll say it again i'm terrible at names but i think this is um oh, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm not gonna i'm gonna i'm terrible with names. i'm gonna read it off the pub quarter bridge that's it i said read it off, read it off the wall on the pub the quarter, here we are at a quarter bridge going into into braddon bridge so accelerate up here i think you get up to top end of third gear i think that's probably 100 odd mile an hour 100 and 20 a mile an hour maybe there's a big Back tree there gear, but this is first lap you see so i've got new tires full tank of petrol I'll probably just go back down to bottom gear just to get a bit of a bit of a run out of here into Union Mill so here we are Oof. head down arse up as they say so everything <laughs> tucked down in arse. getting this <laughs> past snug bread. just get everything tucked in ready for this fast kinky oh, the speed yeah, the bike it's revving just... up there that's sort of see, I can't new tires quick. new tank of fuel let's rev the bike out in third there back of gear into into Union I mean, Mills back another gear to there think when you Union come Mills off. and get on the throttle a bit of a jump just here you see just just, where yeah, the bike just takes off a little bit there. You want to be on the throttle of the bike once we're driving over there. And um, and that's us. That's us until until Glen Vine. Is it Glen Vine? Oh, oh, I've said yeah. before, terrible with names. So, yeah, <laughs> head down ass up. I'll probably try and get my ass on the back of the seat and my elbows tucked inside my knees. Get as tucked in as I can just to try and get the speed. Because every, every, you know, you're carrying so much, much, so much <laughs> momentum. Hang on, that again. You're carrying so much speed. momentum around this place. You just need to, every little bit makes a difference. You know, like going through Glen Vine, they just back a gear, no brakes, and get straight back on the throttle again. Just, oh my good God. just there, you get top gear. Now here we are. This is probably on a superbike. It is not so much on a 600. This is probably one of the toughest corners on the track, Crosby. Just here, listen here. That's screaming. I think we looked on the telemetry oh. after there. That's the in top oh. gear. That's <laughs> the, that's where you get the most revs in top gear. I think we was looking at 16,700 revs we was getting there. So it's not doing the bike any favours at that really. But then if you gear the bike specifically for that <laughs> corner, then Blow you make up. a bit of a sacrifice everywhere else. Like going down now into the highland, right. but this is where you're asking for the gearing. And if you geared for back at Crosby there, you'd, you'd be Look sacrificing cool. this part of the track here. So that's, that's depending on the wind, that can be the fastest part of the track there. So here we are in a uh, Greber Castle. Back a gear and back another gear. Oof. And then oh that's it's all about especially the 600 around it's all about carrying let's momentum have, let's just stop there for a minute just have a quick chat about this because it's the first time i've seen like the, the body cam and, yep. and how qu quickly things i mean we know when you're in the car when you look out the window how fast things go past but when you're on a bike and you can touch those things with bits of your body be yeah and and how low mm. they get on the corners um at that sort of speed you yeah know, 70 mile an hour whatever going around a bend i mean it's incredible isn't it it's just it's just unbelievable it is uh, I, and, and the you roads know, like... aren't it's not like it's a track is it it's these are no. roads aren't they? 
you know, uh, like you say, you can just see there on, on the left hand side, there's probably a, that's probably a drain there, you know, so you, you're working out for all those bits. Um, they've got a couple of barriers here on the left hand side, but on the right hand side, that looks like a pretty big stone wall. Um, <laughs> He did have a massive accident uh, one year there. Um, he came off, I think it was near that pub. It was actually on fire, you know. Um, his leathers and everything were all shriveled oh, wow. up. He, he sort of reported from hospital. He's had quite a few major accidents, to be fair to the guy. Uh, and he just seems to sort of shake it all off. I mean, it, you have got to have that kind of mindset to ride the bikes at that kind of space, you know, uh, speed. Um, and yeah, he's saying yeah. he's, he's riding a 600 here, not a super bike. So again, you know, he, he's saying this <laughs> only 160, 170 on it. I mean, uh, crazy speeds, man. Crazy, crazy. Crazy. All right. Uh, if you enjoy the video as we go along today, make sure you hit the uh, thumbs From up. From behind your hands. Yeah. As he said, head down, arse up. <laughs> Indeed. Um, let's keep going. You know, less braking. It's a bit like... Um... Yeah, Apple Dean. Back a, oh, I don't go back. Said head down, thumbs up. See, I'm just no. first time, but you know, it's a first. I think I've not rode this bike for. I think I rode it one lap in practice on Monday, one lap or two laps on Wednesday, and then that's this. this what day? What day did I ride that? Was it <laughs> Monday? Yeah, Monday. That, yes, I've only done. I've only done three laps. I'm still getting a bit of a feeling my way around the bike. But yeah, the job's going all right to me, and I'm sort of guessing what to do, and I'm not seeing anyone. I think I'm guessing getting a couple of guessing what to do up here of Adrian Archibald, just getting an idea of of what I'm doing. Oh. I think, you see, 10 second intervals and I think I've probably gained, I don't know, you see Archibald just in the distance there. So I've probably pulled back half of that, you know, so he's probably got five seconds. So I'm thinking, Adrian Archibald's one TT, he's not going bad. There's my uncle Rob there doing me pit ball for me. He obviously doesn't know because he only tapped <laughs> the first time see spot that. Isn't until Glen Helen, which is another few miles down here. So he just give me a board there to give me an idea of where he's going to be for when I come round on the second lap. So I'm catching Archibald here and I'm probably thinking to myself, yeah, you're not doing so, you're so bad, Martin. You know, you know, you, sometimes when you can't see the man in front when he's 10 seconds, you think, well, yeah, you need to pull your finger out here, you need to pull your finger out there. But right, seeing yeah, Archibald, you know, Archibald, you know, he's but blind, how he is on that. He, you know, he's been quick all through practice and he's won TTs a couple of years ago. So if I'm pulling him in, I can't be doing bad. So keep it smooth, concentrate on where I'm going, get my apexes right, and the uh, you know, job should be right. So here we are. Job should be right. Glenmore filling <laughs> station. I'm not, I don't like this bit here. You see, you see there, it's all resurfaced. There's a bit of tarmac. You, tyre marks there and that's all from the front pushing the front pushes over there because the road drops away and it's just I had a bit of a moment I ran over my own foot in practice there I lost the front and put my foot down and ran over my own foot and that didn't feel any really confidence so yeah I got to go with a bit of um, what's the word his own foot I'm not very good with words I'm not very good with big words how far is this of, um, yeah. just holding back a little bit how far I a lap is not, not too full of confidence I've gone back a, uh, a I didn't there. get that I literally flat on the floor cottage. at that point or Sarah's cottage, I get confused between the two. Really should carry momentum through there and go through there in second. But say, like I've said before, I'm just getting used to this bike and getting used to where I need to change so gears quick. and what have you. Yeah. And, um, and I'm seeing Adrian, Adrian Archibald in the in the distance. So this is, you see, I've just got to get it, you know. 37.73 miles. Him, and then that sort of taking my mind off the job where I need to change gear. And I need cool, to do look at him catching him there. there. I'm catching Archibald. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, no. But anyway, here we are. Oh, no. First one's <laughs> flat, second one's flat, third one in. That's the first one. Flat. 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 Oh, Adrian maybe like he's going to fly so over. Sort of judge what he's going to do because you see we're going at these speeds here, you know 150, 160 mile an hour. You know you're using every inch of the road as you can see here, and God, you've got no room for mistake, that. have you? So you know I need to suss out what he's going to do. So here going into Anleys, I'm thinking can I do him on the brakes into here? But he's got good drive out there, and I'm sort of you know because I'm yeah probably yeah sort yeah. Of Seven or eight miles into oh, ten seconds so away. Close. Oh, no, you don't. I don't need to be losing time. You know, I don't know where I am yeah. in the race. Am I, am I leading it? Am I tenth place? Am I fifth place? I don't, I don't know. So I just need to get cracking. I need to, you know, I'm catching out. Well, he's holding me up here. So I think, right, top of a garra. Oh, I go for a bit there, do I? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 I know. Probably you boys looking at that, you think, my yeah. God, that looked like a near death experience. But it's not. Oh. I can, you know, I'm dead confident to ride across as, as close to Adrian as that. Just, be, you know, because of everything that he's done, and I've rode with him. I, I rode racing Jeez. island with him. You know, doing national road races in Ireland, and I feel I'm going to have him this him. time. In fact, you lent me an helmet at one of the last races, <laughs> one, of, one of the races last year. So I get on with him, and I, I'm dead. I feel dead confident in riding with him. So passing down into the 13th. Yeah. So now uh, that's it. That's it. You know, I probably probably lost my mojo a little bit trying to get past Adrian. I'm probably trying to you know panic a bit and lost my flow. So I'm just going to have to you know gather me gather me thoughts again and. Um, and get cracking and trying to move up black sea. It's not about how break you can, how late you can break and how soon you can get on the throttle. It's just all about flow and carrying momentum, like a downhill mountain bike race. 
Yeah. And that's what I was watching. Oh. Home. This is races on Monday. It's like he's hanging on. The World Cup is <laughs> in it. Pretty it's much like is, like to be fair. Hanging on. <laughs> <in the> last <laughs> yeah. minute, you know? He's impressive. I'll show you. Look at him coming through there. But that was a good. It was a good race. Toughest mountain bike race in the world. Well, for, for, for a downhill race. But anyway. anyway no it's so fast the camera. It's, like it's there and then it's literally gone. Yeah, I'm probably gathering the force again now. It's gone. It's smoothing the job off a bit. And there we are. Second part of Renko. And first pit board there. See that? He had his hand up. So obviously I'm doing all right. I think that was P1 plus 1.7. So I'm thinking, right. Right, I must be doing all right. Even that bit of arch where I was, you know, that bit of the track where I was trying to get past the arch, but I haven't lost too much time. So... I must be doing all Just right. Just screaming you know, that engine, innit? Everything must be going well. And then yeah. he's going through my head, well, who is leading? And I know Butchie was going well in practice, Michael Dunlop was going well in practice, and if Michael Dunlop's going well, he's only 10 seconds behind me. Now, is he catching me? Can he see me? What's he doing? Or is it Bruce Anston? Bruce Anston. He hasn't had such a good time on a super bike or a super stop bike, but yeah, on a 600 he's always he must on a 600. He was leading the race last boards. year by 10 seconds when he had a bike problem. Right. And um, so I'm thinking, you know, all that's going through your head as you're doing this. So um, there we are for Ballast Bridge, back to bottom gear. Oh, hear that! It's rarely 600. You know, when I was <laughs> talking back there at Crosby, I'm saying the revs into 16,000, 16 odd thousand revs. You know, especially that bit at Crosby, there's 16,700 revs. You know, it's not, you know, it's, it's not, oh, you know, it's, it, it won't do that forever. So you've got to show a little bit of mechanical sympathy, especially around the TT. You know, you just can't murder them at every really? opportunity. You just got to show them a bit of respect. So quite a few here we are on the, on the running to quarry right. bends. Now I'm just thinking, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Quarry bends. Just ease through there. So we're in fifth gear now. Fifth gear, just easing through there. And now, just about there, I can get back on full throttle. And now, same again. Head down, ass up. Get my elbows inside my knees and get tucked in. This is here. This is here. You know, first lap. And. Um, you know, you're not too, you're not really tired. I mean, people would talk about it being, you know, really, really. It's it is. I mean, the speed that, wobbles on that. I mean, I'm sat down here and I'm sort of relaxing. I'm moving my hands about on my handlebars, just trying to, you know, trying to get the blood flowing again. Just, you know, just trying to relax. And you know, you've got to a fairly relax. tough part of the track coming up. Who you know, relax again? Into <laughs> Solby, which is, you know, from sixth gear down to bottom gear. Then we've got ginger, um, ginger roll, which is the one you're right inside just after, just after Solby. But the, but the run all the way from there, all the way into Ramsey. Now that is hard work. See, so I've had it fairly light up to now, really. You know, not fairly too light. Much, you'll see. Just as you go over the hill here. That was his personality, so. Now, now I'm, I'm going to start with him yeah. here. I haven't got a clue. Now, Glenn's <laughs> trying to run Isabel. But you can see now, you look how much that camera's rattling about. You see, that, now I'm having to cling on for dear life. I'm having to cling on for dear life. It's not the sort of thing you want to. No. You I'm a bit of a passenger down here. You know, you're just sort of, of holding the bike, and the bike's handling well, and it's going well, so I'm sort of fairly able just to hold it flat out and just hang on for dear life. Because sometimes, <laughs> you down here, especially a super bike, you know, when it's not quite handling 100%, you just can't hold it flat out through there. You just have to hang on and hope for the best. Whereas a 600 there, I can see, you know, everything's going well, so I'm pretty confident to just hold it flat out and just and let it move about under you, um, and, you know, and job should be grand. So, yeah, I think Glen Channel was a bit back there. Job should be grand. Ooh. <laughs> just, just let it hang it on. out. Hang on yeah. for dear life, and jobs yeah. should be grand. Head down, ass up. <sighs> uh, but like you say, <sighs> he is such a, a, a lovely, genuine character. Um, do check out some of his other videos. I remember in one interview he did. You know, he said, oh, "I turned up for the Isle of Man TT, stayed with my mate." He goes, "You know, there's a lot going on there, but I just I painted his house for him just to uh, you know just to relax." <laughs> Painted, you know, all the others are doing the old big time Charlies and that. He stayed with his mate and painted his house. Um, we also know of him. Uh, I think I can't remember who it was that mentioned it, but um, somebody mentioned they live near Pikes Peak. Uh, we do know of Pikes Peak because Guy Martin uh, also did the Pikes Peak Challenge. He built a uh, hand built a turbocharged Suzuki GSX R1100 to ride up uh, Pikes Peak. So check that video out. Yeah, that, um, was, quite a good, that was a good one. Uh, but this we, is the world's most dangerous race, right? Uh, well, On bike. Yeah, I mean the uh, the uh, the Irish road races will probably have something to say about that as well. They do Irish road racing, which is just as uh, dangerous, if not even more dangerous. Uh, uh, All right. Wow. Let us know in the comments what's more dangerous. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, all right, let's keep going. 
that's going through here. You see this here, you're going through this there, and you've always got to be careful. This not that there, just here on the left, that curb jumps out of you there. There's a big K on the tree, just to warn big you for K. that curb. The curb so jumps way, out you know, right you've, 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 you know, we've done K on you know, the tree. 20 or 30 laps worth of practice before before this race, so I've got a good idea of what to what to look for on here. Look and at that, man. Here we just have a sweeping. Just there. Even the early helicopter. I mean, it sounds like a helicopter. On the running to round thing. Yeah, yeah. Rather yeah, than yeah, the drone. Yeah, yeah. The one. Heli. The drone would be able to keep up, would it? I wouldn't have thought. See, salmon pink. I've always said, I think I've said this before in another video, always break at a salmon pink wall, back a gear, and chuck it in into Parliament Square. And now, like, we've had a real tough bit of work from um, Ginger Roll all the way into Ramsey. That was hard work, that was. You know, I've got four laps to do on this 600. And um, you've just got to try and pay. Not pace myself, and just, you know, show up. Show, show a bit of respect to the bike because it's got to last, you know, it's got to last four laps and probably what nearly hour and twenty minutes worth of racing. So wow, a bit of respect and, uh, and, and, and twenty minutes. Where are we are now, it's, it's, it's a bit of a kind of time for the bike now. We're on the run up to the up, run up through Mayo up to Ramsey Airpin. So is back it to five bottom, laps and then that's the mountain, which is and you're, really I suppose it's you, a bit more. You only get five laps. All right, it's open. Is it time got, trial? You know, you can time see trial, yeah. the island from up yeah. there, but it's. Um, it's oh, a lot sorry, five, the five second interviews, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just... Ten second interviews, yeah. I can just sort of hear what gears I'm changing and what have you. And maybe, I'm thinking for the second race, which is tomorrow, maybe I should show it a bit more respect and maybe not quite rev it as hard. But then, I want to win. I mean, I, I think probably still at this point here, I'm leading. Or, I'm, you know, there's whatever the way. I think for the whole race, there was nothing in it. I was leading and then I was... Second, but it was all Jeez. by a second, plus a second, minus a second. You know, it was such it was a real close race between me and it Uchi. As I learnt later on that it was Uchi in the pit stop. I learnt that it was Ian Hutchinson. You know, but he's going well. I think a man needs to stop him, doesn't he? You know, what's he doing? He's won three races this week. I need to put a stop to that tomorrow. I think, not I? I've got my mate John there. You see that P1 plus oh, two. Oh, that's his pit so guy. I'm not doing such a bad job. So from where I had the pit board at Ren Cullen, I never mentioned it. The pit board at Ren Cullen with Andy Kershaw. You know, the Radio 4 DJ. Oh, oh boy, he is. Hell of a boy. The learner thing has come off that man. I think he's just been coming back from Cambodia. That's where he has. Interesting bloke, anyway. Anyway, pit ball. That's my second pit ball. That's young John there. Young John at, um, at the gooseneck. <laughs> so here we are now. Like I said before, head down, house up, get tucked in, ready for the run up the mountain. And here we are. The bike's having to work oh, fairly hard. Right, yeah. It's not bumpy, but it's, it's a lot smoother going on the, on, on the bike. You know, it's not rattling the bike about it's not rattling everything loose on it you know it's, it, the bikes have you know you can't see you can really give it a good impression on the telly there but it's uh, look at that really that looks like it's on the floor really hard to pull up here especially pull me as well i mean i'm not what would i do I'm about 10. i've been on a bit of a diet really but i think i want my god what did i get to i think the start the start of this year i was about oh, i wasn't i was knocking on 12 stone i think but now i've got down to 10 stone eight so i'm quite happy with that and look there Fair i can play. see someone else in the, in the, in the distance i think yeah 10 seconds in front of me was Adrian Archibald and 10 seconds in front of Archibald oh, was Cameron Dolan. Right. Yeah. A bit of an up and down year for Cameron at the minute. And, you know, he showed, he showed his quality last year at the TT. You know, what they're doing Thursday night of practice, he's 131 and a half and everyone oh, was just screen, gobsmacked for the speed yeah. that had gone round. And then the next night, the Friday night, um, come off and separated his shoulder and injured a few other bits and bobs. He's never really been on it since with the North West 200, which is another big race before the before the TT, that's um, that's a fortnight before the TT. He didn't oh, quite go there, and I just everyone thought, and like I thought, was he just sort of a big gap you know, behind him as well, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, anyone yeah. know what sandbagging is? He's it's certainly like, on it. Um, poker He's certainly on it. Yeah. You know, the Northwest Tour, it is a big event. It's fearless, isn't but it? But really, yeah. all it is is to blow the cobbles out for the TT. You know, the TT being you know it's the like pinnacle road race. Can I push it? You know, yeah, whenever yeah. everyone thinking, he was was he just out there for? Um, you know, to blow his cobwebs out and just see him yeah, as a sort of um, sandbagging. But we'll see, his TT hasn't quite gone to plan at the moment. Everyone was coming to the TT, you know, like I was, whether John McGuinness or Ian Hutchinson was thinking the same. We thought Cameron was going to be the man to catch, but he's just not looking like it at the moment. You know, here we are, I've caught, a, yeah, I've caught wow, probably, yeah. what, two thirds of the way around. The Coming up on him quick now, isn't he? Two thirds of the he's way not, round. He's not on the pit. Yeah, well, the Suzuki said it was 37.73 miles, mate. The bike that it is probably hasn't quite wow. got legs on Martin's on the lead. You can see the speed of it, it's not slow at all, definitely not. So here we are, I've got back to get back to what I was talking about on the track again. So here we are coming up here on the drive. <laughs> and this is probably one of my favourite parts of the course. Not this little bit here, I've never quite sussed this job out. Back a gear there, back to here. And I call this bit sort of here with rise on the mountain box, I think. But this from this point here to, the, well, to, back to Keppel Gate, I have one of my favourite parts of the course. I mean, you can see here, this is the start of the 32nd 
is either 30 second is three left handers. So the first one there, second one there, third one there. And that uh, takes a bit of building up to that just because it's, it demands 100% commitment to get down there. And yeah, into the new well. windy corner. Well, I say new, I think Look they, at they that. surfaced it about three years ago. And you can see the camber on it there. And um, now on the run into the 33rd. Now remember, the 32nd is three left handers, and the 33rd is two left handers. You have to get that right. And I'm a bit simple sometimes, I keep forgetting. But anyway, here we go, going into the 33rd. Back of gear, keep it tight to the fence on the right side there, back in the gear. And these white lines on the road are really right good. up to so right ready to go. Up up that was, yeah. See Cameron just in front there, and I'm trying to suss him out. And this is where Cameron had his moment last year. So am I thinking about this as I'm going up to go on the inside of it? Yeah. I just didn't make it. Yeah. So I know coming down here, I thought, right, because six hundred are so closely matched, what I'll do on this last little bit of Kevlar gate, I'll just hang back, you see there, let the gap, yep. yeah, and then I'll accelerate before him and accelerate and try and pass him down into, into Craig Nabar. A little bit of back brake there to stop it with him. You can see I've got the drive out there and that's allowed me to pass Cameron down to here. Just do it on the brakes. Oh, there you go. Cheeky monkey. Nice see. job. I went down to bottom gear then. I shouldn't have done really. But I think that was probably... Oh, wow. I was probably a bit discombobulated. Just having to pass Cameron on the inside there. Went back to bottom. You know, I'm just lost... Lost that bit, a bit of momentum uh, again and then back to bottom, but I shouldn't have done that. I'll note that for the... Look how quick he's pulling out though. You see, look, going around there in first gear, just losing momentum all the way down yeah, into it. so fun. Grand. On the this straights. was done, I think, 2007. Grand. You see, before this used to be back to three gears into a tighter left hand thing. And now we're going into, you know, from sixth gear down to fifth. And you can see how fast there it was. You just go back a gear, don't touch the brakes, just go back one gear and then accelerate around Brandish down into... down into Wilbur. Back another gear, no brakes, just chuck Break it in. Wait for some people, no brakes. Just careful of that no wall. No brakes. Just don't feel your confidence as you go in. Let it roll. That, that wall, anything goes wrong at all. I'll tell you what I've had there as well. These people taking pictures on there and that big flash, you know, you get like a welder's flash going in there, it sort of takes wow. your attention. And yeah, I've made a mistake or two there, so yeah, I'm never waiting for that every time. But anyway, here we are, going into the signpost corner. You see that? I mean, he knows all his corners, corners, he knows it out. Yeah. Yeah. Second gear. Out of the Whatever back of his hand, doesn't he? And that's a lot of I have a mate of mine, Yvonne, Yvonne Murphy there, she gives me, because you can sort of lose your way around here, you know, you, I know I'm just on the end of the first lap, but when you go to the second lap, you need to pull in the petrol, you know, pull in the petrol, get your tyres changed, not on the 600, but you know, to get your a fresh visor on, get your, your screen cleaned, and, um, you know, but sometimes you come in on your second lap and you're thinking, wow. now is so it quiet second, there. or is it my third lap, or is it my first lap, like a fool. you know, you just sort of, you get a bit, you know, all of a dizzy, you know, you've got so much going on in your head and you sometimes can forget which lap that you're on, so Yvonne there, she just sticks a pit board out when, it, when I'm on the end of the second lap, just to remind me to come in for fuel. Oh, uh, okay. Start and finish again, that didn't take long, did it? Yeah. That didn't take long. <laughs> for tomorrow. Not with you. Yeah, that was a lap of the Super Sport. Um, fingers crossed for the weather tomorrow, eh? Wow. We'll give it another shot. Fingers crossed Duh. for tomorrow, we'll give it another shot. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Wow. Oof. I mean, it's Zim- impressive to actually. I mean, I've never seen the whole track like that before, so it was fantastic to watch him go round it and talk us round, basically. Talk us round, yeah. Unbelievable. Um, yep. Yeah. Not much use of the brakes in there, I don't think. <laughs> uh, no. If I've learned anything, it's head down, ass up. But that's uh, it. You know, tuck your elbows in. Uh, indeed. But, yeah. Take that, take that with you from us to you. Yeah. Um, there you go, mate. So if you are out in the Isle of Man for this, uh, these next few days, I uh, hope you have a lovely time. Weather looks fine. And, um, yeah, enjoy. What a spectacle. Yeah, what an amazing thing. Um, fingers crossed everything goes well for everybody out there, all the riders. Get them around there, be safe. Um, yeah, incredible, incredible thing, isn't it? It really is. <sighs> what a day job. I need to go to slow down now. I've got to make a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, thanks Thank for you your much. recommendation and reminding us, Becca, uh, of the other man this week. Uh, until tomorrow, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. Head down, arse up. Bye.